What is the smart way to get orders on Fiverr and Upwork as a freelancer? Well, there are many things you need to consider and I can't cover all of them in one video. And that's why I'm gonna talk about one specifically, which in my opinion is the first thing you have to focus on when you are starting as a freelancer and you wanna find success and start making money freelancing. So even though Fiverr and Upwork have their differences, they both use SEO and no matter how good your skills are or how professional your profile looks, with a very nice and detailed description, many certificates, good education and all this stuff if people don't find you you'll never make any orders on either of these platforms so you can search for different keywords and try to optimize your listings maybe even hire someone to do the seo for you but one thing you can never do is to create demand for the service you want to provide as a freelancer so the smart way to approach this freelancer game on fiverr and upwork is to find on-demand services first before you commit yourself to make the best looking profile and catchy titles and thumbnails do the seo and all the other stuff i actually decided to make this video for you guys because I stumbled across this article recently and I found it very interesting and I thought it might be interesting for you too and you might extract some value out of it. So this article shows Google search volumes for different freelance professions for June 2022 year to date. So these are the actual numbers guys. There's no guessing about which one has more potential than the other and all that because you can see how many times people search for all these professions and this can be extremely helpful if you're just starting out and you're not sure which direction to take. But before we go into details and see all the different professions listed, analyze their search volume and all that, I want to quickly jump over to Fiverr and show you something that you might already know, but I'm sure many of you don't and it's definitely worth mentioning it. So here on the top, you can find all the different categories people are providing services for, like graphics and design, digital marketing, writing and translation, video and animation and so on. When you hover your mouse over to these categories, this drop down menu will appear and you can see all the different subcategories within the main category. And if I go to graphics and design, Design, for example, we can see logo design, website design, image editing and etc. But of course this is obviously not the trick I was talking about because if you've been on Fiverr at least once already, you already know about these categories. But what you probably didn't know is that they are actually ranked by search volume and not just in random order. So this can be extremely helpful as you have access to this information for Fiverr specifically and not generalized over all freelance platforms. So if you don't know where to start, you can browse through these categories and as you can see there are so many categories to choose from and you can find something that you have the skills for or maybe close to the skills that you have and you can easily learn it for free from YouTube or you can also invest in a course if you're serious about it but here on YouTube you will find tons of useful information for whatever you can think of and it will be more than enough to get started. Also if you want to catch a trend and capitalize on exponential growth in search volume for the past months and start getting some orders on Fiverr this way there is a category for that and you can see it right at the end that says trending and you can see dropshipping is top trending now followed by e-commerce marketing nft services seo and etc so if you're just getting started and you haven't made your first order yet this section might be a very good option because of the raising demand and you will have a significantly higher chance to attract your first buyer as you will receive a lot of impressions and if everything else looks good someone will buy your service however if you have some orders here and there this can boost the number of orders drastically so you can make a lot more money catching these trends but i'm sure most of you don't even have their first order yet and struggling to figure out what they need to change change or improve in order for this to happen. So you can use this method to take advantage of the high demand at the current time and if you get an order, make sure you do your best to make your client happy and leave a 5 star review on your gig. And you can even offer him a discount like 10% off or something like that if they leave a review because this can really bring the momentum for your account and trigger the algorithm to start showing your gig on the front pages. And I'm not talking only about the gig from the trending category but the gigs within your whole account. Of course I'm not saying that you will make one order from the trending gig and all your gigs will blow up and they will be ranked on the first page. But I'm saying that you will definitely drive attention to your account and you will increase the amount of impressions you get, which will eventually lead to second order, get blessed from the algorithm again, eventually another order, and that's how you climb your way up to the first and second page and get consistent orders. Of course, it's easier said than done, and I'm not trying to simplify it because it's really hard to get noticed on these highly competitive platforms like Fiverr and Upwork, and it takes a lot more than making a gig within the trending category and receive your first order within a week or so and start making thousands of dollars per month and slap your boss in the face on the way out of your last job. If you are not actually good at what you provide as a service and people can see it from the examples you shared as images, you don't know how to write your description properly, your thumbnail is not standing out and so on and so forth, you're just not gonna make it despite the huge amount of traffic that Fiverr can send to your gig. So you must have everything in place if you want to see some results but the category you're gonna choose to provide services is the first thing on the list.
this. So now we can actually look at the article that I mentioned at the beginning of the video and we can see right off the bat that freelance graphic designers got the highest search volume on Google for 2022. And if I quickly go back to Fiverr, we can verify that because as we already know, graphics and design category has the most demand on the platform. But what else we can see in the article is that freelance writers are almost splitting the first place with the graphic designers. 100 searches per month more is definitely not a lot and considering that these results are up until June, we could argue that freelance writers are now in the first place with higher search volume and you know, probably the rest of the professions could be also slightly shifted in the rankings. But don't forget that this is just to give you a general idea of what people are searching for and how much. And bear in mind that this is not the stats for the search bar on Upwork up here or the search bar on Fiverr or whatever. These are the Google search results and how many people are searching for these keywords per month on Google. So this automatically means that these are not only buyers who are looking for different services, but these could be sellers as well. And one person can search multiple times per month for the same topic. And that's why we can see something like freelance social media manager and freelance SEO being down in the rankings in terms of search volume on Google. But if I go back to Fiverr, we can see that social media marketing and SEO are actually ranked second as a category and you better stick with the Fiverr data than what people are searching on Google. Also, writing and translation is the third category here, but on Google is almost the most searched freelance profession. So I definitely suggest you to stick with the Fiverr data when you determine in which category to provide service. But I think this article is great to double check the information we already know from Fiverr and also see some numbers so we can have a better understanding of how many people roughly search for the high search volume categories and how many for the low ones. Also, I'm not sure if you noticed, but freelance writer get around 22,600 searches per month. But down at the bottom, we can find freelance content writer with only 4,600 searches per month. And also things like graphic designer with 22,700 searches per month versus website designer with only 5,150 searches. So literally small differences like this can make a huge impact on your performance. And you might be thinking you are targeting the high search volume topic, but in reality, if you haven't seen this, you wouldn't know that you actually target the smaller pocket audience. So as I said, this is definitely not an end all be all kind of thing, but it's something good to consider and give you a general perspective on the freelancer market. I try to cover many topics on this channel and not just crypto, because in order to invest money in crypto, this money has to come from somewhere first, right? So if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing, because I have plans to make more videos in the future about Fiverr and Upwork, and of course freelancing in general, and in the meantime, you can watch this video that came up on the screen about how YouTubers are lying to you about getting the first order on Fiverr. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there.